What's up, guys? Welcome back to Gameplay is You, uh, episode 14 now of Transistor. Um, as you can see, we are uh, dealing with a much higher uh, process integration going on in Cloud Bank right now. This is uh, actually one of the first areas in the game that we came to um, in one of the first episodes of this playthrough. So, um, and I can uh, show you right here why uh, why that is. You remember this guy? Looks like these. They weren't just trees and houses and things. We we picked up one of our earlier functions from this. Uh, you know, Mr. Precht guy. Um, so look at what they've done to him now. He's like this kind of calcified, you know, series of white blocks just stacked onto each other. This uh, program is not 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 nice to people. Guess they don't like this one. So we know they don't like water. Is it like Independence Day? Wait, did they? Was it was it water that made the aliens weak in Independence Day? No, it was like a virus. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. All right, which way? Which way? Already went to the box office. Already went up that way. Down here? Nope. I see a door there, and I came from this way, so which way are we headed? That's the access point. Look, I'm making my own personal little army. Oh, there we go. Oh, jeez. Was it all a dream? You know, Red, we make quite a team. Okay, let's go ahead and save Maybe here. Voice. All right, now we do Can't have some uh, memory line. available to us. So, what do we want to oh, add? To the camera. What if we add um, load to call? Coal will be slightly stronger and deal damage in a blast radius. I like that. Let's go ahead and uh, add that on there. So let's make the most powerful attack in the game even more powerful. Still got some uh, room though. Uh, the only thing we can pop in though is spark it looks like. Oh no, we got ping as well. So let's see what ping will... Uh... Void will be more efficient to plan during turn and faster in real time and crash will be more efficient to plan. Um, let's... what about jaunt? All right, we'll go ahead and uh, put it on Jaunt. So Jaunt's gonna use up less of our uh, of our turn when we go into the turn option. And you can see him just like, it's like uh, construction workers like tearing something down. They're just completely trying to change the city over into their vision. It would be cute if it wasn't so scary. Let's see what Cole does to him. Yeah, way overkill. Which at this point is the name of the game, because we run into some enemies that take a lickin' and keep on tickin'. Hey, keep it down. Keep it down out there. So the game kind of cleverly uh, takes you through this backtracking that you have to do, um, but the environment's totally new. There's a lot more going on. It's a lot, uh, a lot more ominous, a lot scarier. Is that what I... Oh, yeah. Oh, Spine is still here. Man, you see how Cole just... knocks everybody out of the game. Go through one by one and pick these guys off. They're not even interested in me, but I will be damned if I'm going to let them screw my city up. Yeah, I love the everything that happens in that animation. It's like I have no idea how long it would take to make something like that, especially with a team of 12 people.
Okay, we got the pass through here. Um, I'd like to go, if you don't mind. Uh, no, I need you. Um, I'm still kind of hesitant to add those limiters. Um, I know I have some new ones, but I want to kind of get through these battles with some sort of speed and efficiency because I want to be able to show you guys the end game. All right, cross your fingers. Do we have agency test? Do we have agency test? Oh, the spine. I was sort of hoping it was just one of them. Ah, uh, where are you? I really thought we would have seen it by now. Yeah, I'm not too concerned with any of these guys. I really want to show you guys agency test, and it's just still not available yet. I don't know if it's based on your level or. If I start talking funny, just ignore me, okay? Oh, oh good. I'm here again. <laughs> All right, lots of stuff going on here. We got uh, two cheerleaders, two cluckers, snapshot. All these guys are 3.0. So we need to dispatch them as quick as we can and it's gonna be void and call. That's the best way to do it. And just take them out one by one. Get the cheerleaders when they don't have self shield up. Get the uh, snapshots. Ah, stupid disruptor. Okay. Take him out. And we even got a little bit of damage on the other snapshot there. Stay away from the disruptor. Okay, self shield, self shield, and they're both protecting cluckers. Do we have anybody we can attack? We do have a snapshot here. You gotta like jaunt away from these uh man we got two little disruptor fields there you gotta really be careful that you're not not standing around when uh those cluckers launch the uh their little eggs or whatever the hell they are but as long as we don't have to deal with a fetch or you know a fetch and multiple young ladies then we'll be all right There is still one more enemy that we've yet to run into, um, besides, obviously, the, uh, the end boss. No problem. Let's get that access point. This is cool. Kind of got to bust through the barriers. Like maybe you can get me out of here or something. What's in here? New terminal. Oh, the spine. Crafty SOB. Junction Jans is closing its doors. Circumstances beyond our control have one last flatbread on the house. Well, they're making it a positive situation. Lemonade out of lemons. This is a tragedy. What did we pick last time? The mystery? Let's do Harvest Garden. Aw. Your meal will be delivered to your home in 9,999 minutes and 59 seconds. I can wait. I've waited for Pizza Hut longer. So pretty, like the foreground elements, the way they kind of move. I guess that's parallax that scanning. Hey, look what it is. Hey, that's not our bike. Oh boy, okay. Toughest enemy in the game right here. These are, they're called man. Um, and they send out this thing called a haircut. I've got to take the haircut out and I cannot let it touch me because it has the same kind of explosive effect that load does when I use it on another enemy. So um, when you get into these battles with, with three or four of, I guess you just call them men, and they're launching haircuts at you, it, it can get pretty frantic and pretty hectic. So I've got to take care of that. And actually when I hit it, you're going to see it bounce away and then explode. So you've got to stay out of the blast radius of those things. 
Plus he's got stealth, so I can't even do anything. Now I can. Void, void, call on these guys every single time. One hit him. Like a man. That's what it was. Okay, let's grab the bike. Hey, Red. Thanks for the lift. Hi. So we got out of the uh, spine's influence again. See me revving the engine there? Lamented. We're getting close. I know I keep saying that. I'm kind of remembering things as we go along, too. I had totally forgotten that we were going to run into that man until about five minutes ago, and then we just happened to run into him. Okay, we'll save there. Okay, good stopping point. We just ran into our last uh, major enemy. Um, we are moving along here, guys, and I'm really happy that you've been joining me on this playthrough. I hope you'll join me on the next episode. Come on back, and we will continue onward in Transistor. Thanks for watching Gameplays You.